You're a teacher here. I am. Yeah. <laughs> and what I'm going to do with her eyeliner, so that had a perfect eyeliner, which I know, you know, we've seen, you know, the sticky tape trick, which is still what I use. But I want to show you another trick as well. It's actually how to do eyeliner and lift the eye at the same time. And what I like to do is I actually like to do eyeliner from underneath the eye, not always on top. Sometimes doing it on the top can actually um, make the eyes look smaller and can make the bottom eye look droopy. So if you want to lift an eye, we're going to take the eyeliner from underneath. Now, if you're a little bit scared, don't feel comfortable. My best trick is to use eyeshadow as a stencil. And I'm not actually even using black, I'm using a dark violet. You can use black or gray, whatever color. Um, but I'm gonna do like a dark smoky violet eyeliner here. So my best advice is to do the flicks first. Just get that first. And then when it's even, go through with product. Importantly with eyeliner, if you're going underneath, is not to cut the eyes up. You'll actually make the eyes smaller. The trick is, is to pull the eye down and out. So I won't just follow the natural lash line like this. I'm gonna pull it down a little bit. I'm actually lowering the line and then extending out. And you can do this freehand, which I'll just show you if you want to. So work out the shape that you want. And then from that point, with the eye open, just know where the highest point of the eyelid is, wherever the lid peaks. And what you want to do is from this point, have a blink, look straight, look straight. With the eye open, you want to take this line and stop it at the highest point. And then from that point in, we'll make the eyeliner really fine. So the reason I'm getting her to look straight ahead is sometimes we have this little annoying fold of skin. And if you have to, if you lift it and do the eyeliner, when you let it go, you're not gonna see it. So we're doing it with the eyes straight ahead. You can actually see what the finished shape is gonna look like. If you struggle, take the stickiness out of the tape and you can put your tape just underneath. Now, to get the most incredible point, another tip, don't finish the eyeliner where you want it to end. Stop it a little bit shorter and I'll show you why in a minute. So just to do this with eyeshadow, make sure you're happy with the shape. When you're happy with the shape, go yes, I'm happy. Put the tape back on and then go in there with a cream or a liquid. Have a blink. And also creams don't tend to crack, look down. Don't tend to crack where some liquids can. You're talking to people that are always got black flecks all over the cheek because the eyeliner's both look straight ahead. And it's important to do this outer corner with the eyes straight ahead. And look down there. And go right into that lash line. I don't always take eyeliner all the way across the blink. What I mean by that is, instead of going all the way to the inner corners, if you want to make the eyes look further apart, move the eyeliner, open it up a little bit. Don't go all the way there. Go about three quarters across this way. And the blink. And close. I never actually let the eyes close. I only let it close if I want to fill in just right to that eyelash line. Look straight ahead. Okay, now, so I've made the eyeliner stop a little bit short. What you want to do is get a clean angle or a clean lip brush, doesn't matter, with a hint of foundation or concealer color that matches the skin tone. And this is where you can really perfect it. And what you do is you come underneath it and you slightly pull it out. And what it does, the concealer being grease, it actually just makes the product slide. You get this beautiful little point. You go underneath and then tilt to the side. I'm sorry if I block the camera a little bit here and I'm gonna come underneath here. It's like a little scissor effect. I also recommend to take a photo of your model with your iPhone straight ahead just so you can check how even it is because sometimes your own eye can't actually see little um, minute details because you're looking at it for too long. So just to recap, um, I've come underneath, I've extended out, keeping the eye looking straight ahead, go straight on top of any skin folds and stop the eyeliner where the eyelid peaks. And then from there, wherever the eyelid peaks, from there, keep it as close as you can to the lash line. And I've only taken that three quarters of the way across. 
And so that's my technique on how to perfect an eyeliner.